Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Monday, August 22nd, 2022. The Tarot card for today is the King of Wands, great Monday card, and it comes to us from the Crow Tarot, which is hugely popular by artist MJ Cullinane. And you know, I've given up on trying to show you all of this woman's decks. She's very creative. She she just pumps them out one right after the other, and I've lost track of how many. She has both tarot decks and oracle decks. If you look on Facebook and Instagram under uh, Crow Tarot, you should be able to find her. It probably says Crow Tarot MJ Cullinane, but she's just got so many, and some of them I really, really like. She's just, like I said, difficult to keep up with. Anyway, anyway, a um, couple things. As far as the videos go, they're starting to look like videos again. Thank goodness that part is working out. I'm back to working on my repaired laptop and things are going much, much better. So as I work out all the glitches, that will be improving. The other thing I wanted to mention is that I know for a while when I was posting to TikTok that there didn't seem to be a limit as to how long the videos could be. And a lot of my videos run between four and five minutes. And this one is, obviously, I'm talking a lot here, but they have a cutoff now of three minutes. So if you want to hear everything I have to say about a particular day, you can always go look over on Facebook. Not Facebook. I don't put them there. YouTube, Instagram, or even over to my website. You can find them there. And they're included with the written tarot card of the day. So, what we really have going on here, because I want to say officially the sun moves into Virgo today, but it doesn't happen, at least where I'm at, until like 11, 14 p.m. So the day is almost over. So what we have is this magnificent, intense, build-up surge of Leo energy, home to the sun, the fiery energy, right? And that's what our King of Wands is all about. So, he is here today, large and in charge, helping you to step up and take charge of your week, your month. I don't know if, I don't know if there is a possibility to actually take charge of August, okay, because it is like, you know, it, it's just its own thing that's happening. Because Uranus is two days away from retrograding, so really there's nothing you can do to control the outcome of things. But we do have the moon still in home sign of cancer, all right? And it's going to make one aspect, and that's a square with Jupiter. And even those squares, you know, we often think of them as being tense. This is not a bad one, but it could be because it's a Monday, right? Maybe you're supposed to be really focusing on the week ahead and getting things done. And this one tends to want you to, what, socialize. Jupiter is kind of all over the place, and there's a tendency to overdo here, all right? So you don't want to start your week by, you know, overindulging in anything at all, which, you know, may be to your detriment. So keep that in mind, because, you know, the Leo energy that's prevalent with our King of Wands and our Sun, you know, still there for almost the entirety of the day, same thing, socializing, creativity, a tendency toward things like gambling. Yeah, so you have to be careful with that because when you put all of these together, you know, it can create difficulties for your week, which obviously, you know, they may not impact just your day. They may impact things on a longer term scale. But if you use this king for how he is best known, you have to realize he's very wise and he takes a look at everything not from in the trenches all right he's not in there honing in on the details which is what you know happens once the the sun moves into virgo he's looking at the bigger picture and he can see well you know so and so over here you need to do this and you over here you need to do that and it's not meant in a bossy kind of way but he is the boss man, and he is able to direct everyone. And you might say, but I'm not the boss. But you can be the boss of your own life. And when you can kind of stand above it 
and look at the big picture and put it together and see what needs to be done, you can make more sense of, let's just stick with the week. I say the week ahead because there's a lot that's going on here. I know when I did my weekly for this week, which I do have up over on my website, and I think it's out on Patreon as well. Um, yeah, it's out everywhere. What am I saying? This is for Monday. So, you know, the thing of it is, it's a, there's just so much more yet to come. And you need to be able to sort of view it all and manage it and remember to work on each part of it, right? Because, and I say this all the time to everyone, what tends to happen is that we get focused on one thing. And when your focus is too singular, you can, you know, we've, we had that buildup of Taurus energy, which we've left behind. So, you know, you have a tendency there to want to, you know, just, you know, like the bull has the blinders on. And now you're, you're looking at more things that need to happen. So there's a lot of influences here, which I think are more positive to help you to get the job done. And this card is telling you to step up, take charge of your week, and make it happen. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.